guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I have a mail haul. Okay, the first thing is this right here. <laughs> we don't need to do this. This is a giant row of batting for my tote bags. This is 22 yards. It's huge. And I just hit some toys. That's how tall it is. <laughs> okay, so that's my ginormous thing of batting I got for the bags. It was on a really good sale. And I got it from Joanne's website. And yeah, so that's enough. It's 22 yards, so that's enough for 44 tote bags. <laughs> so I'm good for uh, um, like two and a half updates of tote bags. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's a lot of tote bags. Anyways, I got some more mail today. And I also got some stuff at Hobby Lobby that I wanted to show you. So yeah, I got a Christmas card. It came in late because it was from another country. It is from Portugal, which is really cool. So here's the card. Got a little Santa on it. And um I think her name is Yvette. I think it's I think that's how you say it right. I recognize your username from commenting, but um I hope I said that right. That's what it looks like to me. I V E T E Yvette. Thank you so much, it's so cool. I've never gotten one from Portu Portugal before, so that's really cool to um to get that. Put it back in this envelope. Ah. And inside the card was some stitch markers. She said that when I showed my stitch marker holder, um, I didn't have many Christmas ones, which is true, I don't have many. So she made me some. So there's one. Turn around there, little fella. There's a little snowman, a little uh, Rudolph, a little Santa, and like a little tiny jingle bell. <laughs> and they were wrapped in uh, bubble wrap. So I gotta hang them up now them up here so I don't forget to do that <laughs> and then the card is right here so thank you so much for sending me that and then I got a package this is something I wasn't expecting like I, I'd seen it was all coming but I didn't know what it was was or who it was from and it's from Kelsey and hi Kelsey <laughs> uh, as it's an Etsy shop when I got it I was like I asked them I was like did I order something because I couldn't remember ordering from anything from Etsy shop uh, recently but she, what it is, is she sent me something herself. She, let me get the card. I'm having a hard time opening it. <laughs> card is a really pretty, like, homemade card. It's got this really pretty strawberry paper on it. And the actual, um, package, let me cover up her address. Get that way. Cover the package, <laughs> or the information. It has some washi tape on it, really cute washi tape. And, um... She has her business card here, but she says happy Valentine's Day, and she um, saw the video where I mentioned that I don't like making notion pouches, so she made me one and sent it to me. So here's her Etsy stuff. It is Creations by Kelsey, and the Creations is with a K on Etsy. I'll also link it down below in the description box. Whoops. And this is what she made me. So on this side, this is Ella. These are like, I'm assuming they're um, vinyl or something from like a Cricut. And then the other side it says no kitchen and crochet. And it's got yarn with the crochet hook. But it's like a canvasy top bag. And inside it are some tees. What's this one? Lemon ginger. And this one. Those are down in it. So I got my very own No Kitchen Name crochet notion pouch. <laughs> I don't know what to put in it because I don't want I don't want it to be like somewhere where it's gonna get all dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it pretty. So thank you so much for that. I was real excited opening that. And I loved your packaging. I love this the paper that you used to make that card. It's really cute. Okay, so that was from Kelsey. And then I did get a package with some fabric in it. Uh, this is from Jennifer. She sent me some fabric uh, for me to make bags for her. And then she sent me some extra fabric too. So uh, she has the fabric she wants bags out of in bags with like labels on it. <laughs> I got to message you later too if you're watching this because um, this one specifically says tote. That one just says project bags. So I don't know if you mean drawstring bags or totes or what, but we'll figure that out. But then there's also just a bunch of fabric in here that she gifted me. So I haven't like spread it out and looked at it yet to see what I can make with it. It's just a really pretty one. This is like purple and blue. 
triangles. <laughs> I forgot what the word was. And then there's this really cute print with buttons on it. These, um, I don't know what I'm going to make with these because this is, I could probably make drawstring bags out of these. But it's a different fabric. It's real silky feeling. There's a uh, red one and there's also a black one. Let me get it turned out the right way because it's inside out. Very pretty. And then there's um, some fat quarters. There's this one. It's like orange and white. Square sponge checks. Little tiny floral print. This is a remnant. It's... Where's here? Oh, okay, it's a fourth of a yard. It's like a purple. Swirlies. This is a little stacks. It says it's a five piece. These are fat quarters, but they're, um, they feel, uh, flannel-y, like flannel. Looks like it might be, um, uh, like baby themed. And then there's this little floral piece. I think this is about, this is pretty small, but I might be able to use it with fat quarters to make a bag. Here's a fat quarter. This one. I have a whole box of fat quarters that I'm planning on making drawstring bags out of. I just have to get around to doing it. I just haven't done that yet. <laughs> that one. And with them, I'm gonna. I'm planning on making two-toned bags where, like, the bottom a third of the bag is one color and the top two-thirds of it's a different one. That's what I'm planning. Cute watermelons. Orange. There's also a little mystery bag toy in here for Jesse, but he's, he's already ran off with that. <laughs> then there's these Halloween prints. I had some of this. I made some bags of this too. Actually, uh, Heather has a bag made out of this that she bought for me. Cute cats. And another Halloween print. Cherry fat quarters. There's two of them. Actually, I think I have a print like this. I don't know if it's the same one. But we're almost done. <laughs> I know I've had this print before, but I already used it to make bag with this cat. There's some orange, some owls, some more orange, <laughs> purple polka dots, purple, ooh, <laughs> trippy looking shape, Anna, peace dots, <laughs> like a, kind of like a paisley, it's almost paisley-ish. This one, these are fat quarters. All these are fat quarters. This one. That one. My back is hurting. <laughs> Some more peace signs. Purple. Rubber ducks. <laughs> and then lastly, she put in this. It's a simplicity pattern. It's got these little totes, like purse totes. And then it's got, um, that one's got a pocket on it. And this one. That little one and this one. <laughs> I kind of like this one. The way it's the handles go down further. I felt like I'd add sturdiness to it. Yeah, so that's patterns for bags. That's pretty cool. But that's uh, all the Happy Mom that I got today. I got the card and this fabric, and then my big old giant thing of padding. <laughs> it shipped super fast. Speaking of shipping, um, I got an email yesterday. My line brand order finally shipped shipping via FedEx so hopefully it gets here sometime <laughs> all right so I did to go to Hobby Lobby I had to buy some handles I have some black still here on hand but I ran out of light color for uh, some tote bags that I'm making I bought a whole bunch of that <laughs> I got 16 yards of the cream color and I got some more black for those bags for Jennifer uh, or that one bag because I think she wants drawstring bags or those other ones but I stocked up on that because this week these are half off. So um, they were like 99 cents a yard instead of $1.99 a yard. So I'm good on that. And then I got some yarn. <laughs> it is 30% off. I got this to make. I'm testing a big cap pattern for crystal. I'm almost done with it. I got most of the pieces made. I got to just put it together. So I got some more yarn. I want to make another one of those for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to put the one that I'm testing in my Etsy shop once it's done. And then I want to make another one for that shop too. So I got uh, lighter colors. I got, it's the rough, I love this yarn, Chunky. 
and super soft. It is a number five, I think. Yeah, five bulky, 109 yards each. And I got two in sand frost, which is a really like off-white cream color, really pretty. That's gonna be the body of the cat. And then for the ears and tails and the mouth or the nose, I got what's this called? Warm blush. It's a light, dusty pink color. I thought that'd make a cute cat. And since it's almost Valentine's, it'd be pretty colors. But I'm gonna make another one of those cats out of this because I want to start making more amigurumis to put in my shop because a lot of people uh, like amigurumis but don't make them. So I want to start doing that. But yeah, so I got those. That's all I purchased. <laughs> and um, this big old thing right here was a good purchase because uh, the price that I pay for it, if I divide it by the yard, it makes it, um, what was it? It was like $2.50 a yard. Whereas if I buy it normally, you know, when it's not on sale, it's um, like $7 a yard. So that was a good purchase. <laughs> And I did get high loft, which if you're not a sewer, you don't know what that means. But when it says low loft and high loft, it's the amount of like, let's just say squishiness. <laughs> the low loft is a lot thinner, so it's not as squishy. High loft is thicker, so it's real squishy once you quilt it. And I like it personally when it's um, thicker because it's more squishier, the bags are. So I got the high loft because it was on sale. Normally, I can only find like the medium loft that's on sale, which I do like too. I use it mostly for the tote bags. But... Um, I like them more squishier. The only issue with that is it makes it more annoying when I'm actually sewing because the little fibers just fly everywhere. Normally, um, I will wear like a face mask while sewing it because they're flying around everywhere. And my my clothes will be covered in it and the, the table and the, the floor and everything. I have to sweep it up really good afterwards. But um, my tote bag update is only gonna have 16 bags in it. So that's, that's not very much at all. Um, I'll be able to zip through them real quick. But yeah, so that's my happy mail. Thank you so much to Yvette for sending me the card down there. Where did I put it? It's over here. <laughs> and thank you so much for Kelsey for the awesome notions pouch and the cute little card you sent with it. That's so cool. I want a Cricut so bad. I told Devin I'm probably going to get one for Black Friday this year because they went down. I want the Cricut maker because I want the one that does everything <laughs> so that I'll have to like get another one eventually. And um, I think I'm going to try to save up and get one of those for myself. Um out of Black Friday this this year, 2021, because they went down to 2.99 last Black Friday, so I think they will again this year. But uh, yeah, and also thank you, Jennifer, for sending the extra fabric with the fabric you want me to make your bags with, and that's everybody, right? Yeah, because I ordered that. <laughs> but yeah, this is so cute. I love the color because it's like a pretty blue, and it's sparkly, and it's got a little yarn ball. So cute. Thank you so much. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here and record a uh, What You Working On Wednesday video. And then I'm going to go back in there and hang out with my boys today and do a lot of laundry. We always have laundry. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.